The second law of thermodynamics is crucial in physics. There are two versions. The Kelvin version states it's impossible to extract energy from a hot reservoir and transfer this entirely into work. What does that mean? Well, let's say you have a hot reservoir, and here's a colder reservoir. Naturally, heat will flow from hot to cold. But the second law states it's impossible to convert all of that heat into useful work so that none flows to the cold reservoir. This is forbidden by the second law. Here's a really simple example of that. I've got two reservoirs. The left is hot because it's got a fire, and the right reservoir is cold because there are ice cubes there. Between the two, we have a pinwheel, and to make it spin, you have to do work on that pinwheel. Okay, let's say 20 joules of heat is transferred from the hot reservoir to our system. But what's the system? Well, it's the gas in between the two. So the gas starts to flow. It has this extra energy because of the heat that was transferred. And as a result, the pinwheel spins. This second law says you cannot get 20 joules of work from the pinwheel. It's not possible. You'll get something like, I don't know, maybe five. And what happens to the rest of that energy that you transferred to the gas? The remaining energy is transferred to the cold reservoir. So you have heat flowing from hot to cold, and only some generates work. To see that, we've got our hot reservoir and our colder reservoir. We transfer heat to our system, the gas. Some of that is converted into work, and the rest is uh, transferred to the colder reservoir. Now, that pinwheel example is actually a pretty bad example. Because once the gas moves from the left to the right, it doesn't keep moving. There's no cycle to repeat. What's a cyclic process that repeats? One good answer is a heat engine. So our system is this gas, or water as it might be, and we start by adding heat to the water. That's this, we add heat. And then the water moves through the pipes, it flows into the chamber, and it expands the piston. That produces work. So some of this heat generates useful work. But if originally you transfer 20 joules to the gas, you can't get all 20 out as useful work. The useful work is less than the original 20, and whatever you have left over is dumped into the cold reservoir down here. So the Kelvin version of the second law of thermodynamics really refers to what happens in a heat engine. What's the other version? It's the Clausius version, and it refers to a refrigerator. Here's what it says. It is impossible to transfer energy from a body at a lower temperature to one at a higher temperature without doing work on the system. Here's the idea. You've got a cold reservoir and a hotter reservoir. This we can think of as the space inside the refrigerator, and this we can think of as the kitchen the air outside of the refrigerator in the room. Heat does not spontaneously flow from cold to hot. This does not happen, and it is forbidden by the second law of thermodynamics. If you want to make heat flow from cold to hot, then you have to do work. So to make the heat flow from inside the refrigerator to outside of the refrigerator into the kitchen, you can't just have that happen spontaneously. You have to input some work. And that's why you plug the refrigerator into the wall, because you need some input energy or work. But there's something to notice. The work that you do generates more heat. So if you remove 10 joules from inside the refrigerator, then sure, that 10 joules has to go somewhere. It goes into the kitchen. But you're getting more than 10 joules added to the kitchen, because the work that's required to pump that heat into the kitchen, that work itself produces more heat. It converts into heat. So the Clausius version of the second law of thermodynamics refers to refrigerators. And the interesting thing is the refrigerator generates more heat than it removes from inside. So if you open this refrigerator door, sure, it's getting cold inside, but you're producing more heat outside than you remove from the inside. So a question, if you open this door and you just let the refrigerator run inside of a thermally insulated kitchen, does the kitchen get hotter 
or does it get colder on the whole? The answer is it gets hotter because the heat you remove from inside is less than the heat you generate on the whole.